Today on the way to Seattle, the uh, air compressor quit working on my Mark 8. It's a 98. So, I guess we're going to go through and do some basic troubleshooting to find out what is wrong with the beast. It's a brand new compressor assembly. It's a Dorman unit. So it's either going to be the relay that came with it, or it's going to be the compressor itself. So let's go figure out what in the heck it is. Okay, well that's step one. Get it up in the air so I can work on it. Okay, we're going to go for uh, fuse number 13, which is the one for the air suspension. That's the 60 amp, and it's supplying power down to the compressor relay, which is, this is the one that powers the compressor. So right there is my 60 amp. It's going to be the only one at the end of that one row. Yeah, I've got a multimeter over here. It's going to be this little guy right here. And we'll just put our multimeter on there and we'll see. Yep, I got 12 volts on both sides. Not a problem with that fuse. Now we'll uh, pull the air dam off the bottom so I can get to the bottom of the compressor assembly. Okay, I've already taken the uh, Phillips out. It's a little, for me, it's a little bit of a mix of Phillips, uh, seven millimeter and a 10 millimeter. And there's one Phillips was right here in the front I already got. So I'll go ahead and pull these out. Oh, that's the wrong one. I need this one. Oh, it's not a 10. Okay. It must, if it's not a 10 and it's not a 12, it must be an 11. Yeah, okay, on the fly. Go ahead and get these guys on the outskirts. These two are already out. They were Phillips. When I re installed this new painted bumper cover, I went ahead and replaced these outboard ones with new fasteners. The old ones were kind of rusted. My little bucket to keep everything in. Hi. Hi. What y'all doing? What are you doing? Okay, well that was some neighbors from across the street. Bringing me some wood to burn. Yeah, like I need a fireplace right now. And I went and got my 11. And uh, out she comes, there's just some hooks here in the front. So I'll just pop those hooks out. Wedge it back in. There she is. Now that I have the air dam out, this is the relay for the air compressor motor. These are the signals coming from the computer. The blue and white and then ground and then the the heavy purple would, my guess, is going to be that 12 volt coming off of that fuse. Could be the, the black, but one of those two, probably the purple. And uh, if this guy's gone out, then it's not going to run. So I'm going to just go ahead and disconnect this, and I'm going to check for 12 volts here. Okay, well, I've got them both hooked up. And I was wrong, the purple is actually ground. But there you go, it's, it's reading minus 12 and a half volt, but that's because I've got the leads reversed. Okay, I went ahead and swapped my jumpers over to the other two pins, which is where the leads coming from the computer. And uh, so I know that the computer is telling it to, to run right now, because it's showing seven and a half volts. 
Now the computer will stay on for about an hour after the ignition is off, but that just confirms to me that the computer is working correctly. I've got power to this connector for the compressor. Now I think I've got another one of these relays. I'm gonna go check and uh, see if I do. If I do, then I can uh, pop it in there. Now to check to see if it's the relay or not, I uh, went ahead and pulled that my jumper out and I put the one on the other one and now I'm gonna pop it in there. Okay, there you go. So it's not the compressor that's bad, it's that relay. Okay, well this is the relay that came off the old compressor. Originally, the relay that's installed right now is the one that came with the replacement unit. So I'll go ahead and pop this guy in. And we should be running. Hmm, <laughs> nada. I'm going to go turn the key on and off real quick. And see if it comes on. Okay, well there you go. It was the relay. Now I can probably easily swap it out here. So that was kind of that's kind of good news. I don't have to pull the whole compressor assembly. Now when I jumpered it, if the compressor didn't turn on, then you know it's the compressor. So those are the first steps for troubleshooting. Okay, well that was certainly fun. I actually thought it'd be the compressor, so I'm gonna, it's, it's nice to know there was re that relay. And for what it's worth, the first Dorman compressor assembly I received, it had a bad uh, relay on it too. Um, I ended up swapping that one out, but not only for the relay, but because the compressor sounded like garbage, it just made all kinds of bangs and knocks. Now I had, I continued on and couldn't get the compressor to run, then the only next thing it could be is the compressor or the connector for the compressor. There is another com a, another connector up there we could have gotten to, but since I found my problem, I'm gonna quit there. It's a bad relay, it's a new unit. I'll go run by AutoZone, make them give me another new one. That way, um, if this old one fails and I have a spare, they're pretty expensive. They're like 70 bucks, so I hope that helps. Uh, one more video on troubleshooting the air ride system on a Lincoln Mark 8. Not really that hard, just kind of a pain in the butt to get to. Take care. See you later around, okay? Bye.